The world of science is evolving constantly. And one part of science which is rapidly growing is bioinformatics. So I asked my team to compile a list of top 10 latest developments in the field of bioinformatics, which will help you keep up with the field and also make you understand what are the new things which is happening in this field of interest. So to start with, the first thing which we saw was Bio LLM Bench. Now this is a comprehensive benchmarking of large language models in bioinformatics that has been published and it is providing valuable insights into the performance of these models in various tasks. So the biggest one which we saw in last 12 months was Bio LLM Bench. The second one which we saw was Biotite, which is a new Python library. So Python is a programming language. So Biotite has been introduced, which offers versatile tools to sequence data analysis and manipulate. Now, it makes it easier for researchers to work on huge and large data sets. So that's the second improvement which we saw in the bioinformatics world. The third one which we saw was the SIB Semantic Web. Now, SIB, Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics, has launched a semantic web of data which provides a more efficient and organized way to access and analyze biological data. So this is one of the biggest improvements or changes which happened in the last 12 months. After that, we also saw BBMRI, ERIC, biobanking and biomolecular resource research infrastructure. Now, European Research Infrastructure Consortium has published its February newsletter highlighting the latest developments and projects in this field of biobanking and bioinformatics. You should definitely read that out. Followed by that, we also saw SCIEX patents. So SCIEX has published 10 new software patents in 2023, focusing on various aspects of metabolomics and proteomics, such as spectral comparison and compound identifications. Now, after that, we also saw, saw a new thing coming up, which is called as GenoCode. So the latest update has come up in Geno, GenoCode, which with reference to the annotation for human and mouse genome, which was released in 2023. Now, this provides a comprehensive research resource for research, researchers working on these genomes. Now, followed by that, obviously, the next big thing which, were, which we saw was AI in drug discovery. Artificial intelligence is playing a crucial role, increasingly important role in drug discovery with new methods and tools which is being developed on a day-to-day -day basis, which is improving the efficiency, accuracy, and speed of the process. And then we saw single cell analysis. Now, advances in single cell analysis techniques have allowed researchers to study the genetic makeup of individual cells, providing a more detailed understanding of the cellular processes and disease mechanisms. After that, we also saw improvements in the multi-omics integration. Now, integration of various omics data such as genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics has become more sophisticated, enabling researchers to study biological systems in a more comprehensive manner. And then we saw the biggest change, biggest enhancement that is machine learning in bioinformatics. Machine learning and deep learning techniques are continuous, continuously evolving and they're being applied to various aspects of bioinformatics, including protein structure, protein prediction, drug discovery and disease diagnosis and disease modeling. So we are seeing a lot of ev evolution of technologies are coming together, which is machine learning, AI and bioinformatics. And these changes are going to enable bioinformatics to become more effective, more efficient, and it will accelerate the research even further. If you are interested in bioinformatics, then you can always go for bioinformatics summer internship, which is starting from 4th of April for all of you. And this particular internship is going to enhance your expertise. It will enable you to achieve success in the field of bioinformatics. All the best.